back for another two minute. Two. Are we, Tuesday. Do we need to do that? That's weird. That was really weird. Do we need to do that every time? Probably not. They know what they know. You guys know what we're here for. <laughs> two minute Tuesday at two. What are we talking about today? Well, we already told them. We did already kind so, of tell them. A little snippet. We're talking Look about. Look at Noakes. He's sleeping. <laughs> oh, this is backwards that way. <laughs> um. So when you are going to buy a house, there's an appraisal that you have to get, and there are certain required repairs that have to be done. With certain loans. Yes. FHA, USDA in particular. Yes. So okay. those certain things are handrails, GFCI outlets six feet within a water source. What's a GFCI? Explain that. So that's the reset button one. You have to be able to push that little button in and reset it. <laughs> reset. Um, chipping paint on decks outside of a home on a garage um, has to be scraped and repainted to okay. meet their standards. And then if you're on a well on a septic, it has to be a certain amount of space away from each other. For instance, I believe it's, an, I think it's 150, 150. I've heard three different things. It really depends on, I guess we're going to defer okay. that to the lender. Yeah. But if you're septic and your well are within, I would say under 150 feet away from each other, you should probably be uh, checking into that yes. because certain loans, uh, they don't like that. Yep. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so is, uh, is that all? Is that what we're talking about? That's pretty much it. Um, so a good thing for sellers is if you want to do some of these things, if you know that you don't have a handrail on those basement stairs or you don't have a GFCI outlet. Or you get some chipping paint. Sink, yeah, you could get ahead of the game, <laughs> taking care of them. Um, because if they're not taken care of, the appraiser comes out, they come up on the appraisal report, and then the buyers have to pay for some. And then you have to get it, quote unquote, re-inspected by the appraiser, yes. right? Yes, and there's so, a fee involved in that. So Which is usually, what, $190, $200? So good thing is you save the buyer money and then also you close um, faster. Close faster because you don't have to wait for the reinspect. Reinspect again. Out. Yeah. Good. Why? Why did you sit behind me this whole time? You should be like here. Well. This is weird. We're kind of like in a Anoki. You. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys.